Today I want to share with you some of the things that I like doing when I'm alone and I just want to chill out and zen out and just de-stress a little bit and I don't feel like bothering somebody else or nobody else is available at the moment. So what I like to do often is go out for walks in nature. I know that nature therapy can be so incredibly therapeutic and my favorite days are actually the cloudiest days when it's not too sunny, there's a nice breeze, I'm walking down this trail path that I often run down, the grass is green, and I often notice things that I don't notice or don't have time to stop and smell the roses when I'm running. So I take that time to look in the river and see my reflection and see if I can see swimming fishies all around. Um, also, I would take myself downtown sometimes, like I would hop on a bus and I wouldn't know where I'm going. I would just hop on a bus and feel deep inside and get off where I feel like I'm called to. Something else that I really like is singing. So you'll see me like loving karaoke or singing with my friends. Sometimes I catch myself singing without even noticing that I'm singing. It's no big deal. This is no big deal. This is how we do, yeah, chillin' lay back street, stepping out, we do it like that. This is how we do, do 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 do. This is how we do. because songs just, it, it's just such an uplifter and it's such a de-stressor and it's like you just sing and you kind of dance like nobody's watching. And another thing that I like doing is dancing. So I would either dance in my room, I'll pull up like um, a YouTube video from the fitness marshal, God, I love that guy. Or um, if I am not on a tight budget, I would go downtown and I would go to a dance studio and I'd do a drop-in class. And that is always, always so much fun so expressive and this shouldn't come as a surprise but I do yoga so I would pull up a video online and I would follow through the flow my favorite po postures are back bends so I would do a lot of back bends um, and just kind of like zen out and de-stress and my minimal practice would be around one hour for the most part
school and fall kind of ramps up and I start to get a job full time, part time, um, that might change to 45 minutes. Hopefully not because I so enjoy the time that I have to myself to just stretch out my mind and my muscles. But I find yoga to be incredibly grounding. I've shown up to my mat in tears, I've shown up to my mat in frustration, and I've shown up to my mat in smiles. But I never regret a single practice, just like you never regret any, any kind of workout. Another thing that de-stresses me is I would go to the little library that I have um, near campus, near my school, and they have this little zen garden place, and I would just place my hand and I would I would just play with the sand. They have little toys in it where you just kind of, it's, I don't even know some of the things that they have in there, but I know there's rocks and I know there's sand and I know there's just little props inside and you could just play with it and just get lost. It's almost like, it's almost like sitting in a rocking chair. And that's another thing, I love rocking chairs. I just find it it's soothing, it's soothing to have something to do. It's almost like the mind likes having something to chew on, the body likes something to fidget with. So that's something that I like doing as well. I also love my essential oils. Um, I think lavender is the best one for stress and stress relief. I would put it on before I go to sleep right underneath my nostrils here so I can breathe it in on my temples. And then on the base of my spine, so that it can get into my nervous system faster. And I'll also put it right along here, my collarbones, and also right on my wrist. I would do that, rub it on my wrist. Where we see the capillaries are where the skin is thinnest so that it can be absorbed into the skin a lot more easily. And the capillaries is where are where the, the cells deliver the oxygen into the body and then they go back to the heart. That's why it's purple, right? When red meets blue, oxygenated blood meets unoxygenated blood, purple. So I, I put it along there. Um, and you'll see in a tiny little clip that I'll insert uh, right now about some of the essential oils that I came across. I'm feeling a little bit stressed from um, and from the humidity outside. So what I love to do to just um, make me feel a little bit better is I use peppermint essential oil and I rub it here so that I can smell it. I rub it here around my temples because that's near the brain and that helps me focus and it helps wake me up. It helps me feel refreshed. And um, I also try to put it anywhere near capillaries. So along my wrist would be a really great place. And where capillaries are so great is that's the thinnest area of your skin. So if you were to put any topical cream or uh, essential oils on top of that, that's the fastest and most absorbable place in your body where um, it can get absorbed. Uh, capillaries is where the vein meets the arteries and they do an oxygen exchange. Um, so a lot of times some um, you would find, I believe, doctors like or nurses inserting, I don't know if this is true, <laughs> but uh, they would look for the capillaries to insert the um, needle into because it's, it's so thin, it's close to the surface. So I'm rubbing a little bit of that on myself, thank God. I just, I feel a little calmer now, a little calmer. I will put um, a link to the uh, in the description below to the, um, the one that I just used. It's a really high grade quality one and this is not sponsored in any way. All right, my fitties, I hope some of these tips help you relieve some anxiety and help you ground and de-stress just like me. Um, worst comes to worst, just find something somewhere to be where your heart feels like it can breathe for even just a second. Meditation, yoga, walks, journaling, essential oils, maybe talk to somebody.
right? Dance, singing. Do something that you don't really allow yourself to do because you're too busy in the day. All right? Love you all. Bye-bye.